Welcome to the set of the CNN presidential debate. We want to give our viewers a sense of the rules of the debate so that when they watch it, they can understand how President Biden and President Trump will be engaging with each other. Tomorrow night, just after 9 p.m. Eastern, President Biden will enter from the right side of your screen. President Trump will enter from the left side of your screen. The podiums are eight feet apart. Directly across from them, the moderators, CNN's Jake Tapper and Dana Bash. Now, a reminder, this is a television studio. There's no audience. Candidates will have two minutes to answer questions and one minute for responses and rebuttals. At the moderator's discretion, there may be an additional minute for follow-ups, clarifications, or responses. So how does a candidate know how much time is left to speak? Attached to the cameras in the studio and in the candidate's field of view are the timing lights. When the lights show yellow, there are 15 seconds left in a candidate's answer or response. When the lights flash red, there are five seconds left. And when the display is solid red, the time is up. At that point, the candidate's microphone will be turned off, and the other candidate will have their microphone turned on. My colleague, Victor Blackwell, has more on that. Thank you, Phil. If we go behind the podiums, you can see two green lights. When they're on, they signal to the candidate his microphone is on. When the green lights are off, they signal to the candidate his microphone is off. Now I want to give you a sense of what it will look like for viewers at home if a candidate whose microphone is off interrupts a candidate whose microphone is on. So I'm standing at one podium, and I'll ask Phil to come in and take the other podium. And so let's say I'm answering a question. My light is green, and I'm speaking. Phil's microphone is off, and his green lights are not illuminated. He's going to interrupt me as I'm speaking, and this is what it will sound like. My volume remains constant, while Phil's interruption can be difficult to understand. Let's try the opposite. My microphone is now on. Victor's microphone is off, and he's going to interrupt me. My volume remains constant, while Victor's interruption can be difficult to understand. Now, CNN's production team has shared this demonstration with the campaigns earlier today, and we're sharing it with you, our viewers, so everyone fully understands how tomorrow night will work. Now, we should note, by agreeing to participate in this debate, both campaigns and candidates have also agreed to abide by these rules. The CNN presidential debate airs live tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm back now with the panel. Obviously, I didn't teleport back here. We did that a little bit <laughs> earlier. But, but what was fascinating for me, one, I'm a visual learner, so going through it, I actually understood better how this was all going to work. But I, I want to make something very clear. When the mic was on and one mic was muted, we were actually talking. And we were talking at the same level we'd been talking when the mic was on. That wasn't some trick. We weren't using different mics or different lobs or anything like that. That's how the system was working, which I, I thought was really interesting.